A wave of heat washes over you as you enter the cavern. At first, the sound of the lava is all you can hear. Then, a shout pierces the silence. You find yourself surrounded by members of the Cabal. You draw your weapons and make ready to battle as their warriors begin to close in. It seems that they have drawn you into an ambush, using their own hideout as bait. Roll for initiative. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a new year and we're going to start things off with a nice simple video painting the Corvus Cabal from the Warcry War teams. Alright, so we're going to start things off with some Black Templar. Uh, all of these models have some feathers, like a feathered cloak on the back, so we're going to go over all of the feathers on the models with the uh, Black Templar, and we're also going to do the hair. Uh, but we're going to go very, very light on the hair. We want this to be more of a very dark gray in appearance than actual black. Um, so I'm hoping that this will work out nicely. We're going to go a little bit dark on the feathers and a little bit light on the hair. Next, we're going to use a little bit of Space Wolf's gray. Uh, this is going to go on one or two layers on all of the fabric sections of the model, but not the leather. Um, basically, if it looks a little bit light, I'm going to go a second layer, but if it looks fairly dark, I'm going to go a single layer. Uh, this is going to give a little bit of a nice uh, color difference from the black. Next, we're going to use some Basilicanum Gray, and this is just going to touch up this uh, little like fallen pillar or uh, outcropping on the base of the model. And we'll touch this up a little bit later with some washes to make it look more rock-like. Now we're going to use some Fire Slayer Flesh. Uh, this is going to go on a light layer on all of the skin sections of the model. Uh, this should provide a relatively light skin tone and any of the uh, darker areas of the skin can be attributed to shadows or uh, kind of like a dirt or grime that's been stuck to the character. Next, we're going to use a little bit of Artist Loft Silver. Uh, this is going to go over all of the weapons. Uh, so he's got two weapons, and then there's a couple of hooks that are strapped to his leg. So we're going to go over all of those. Uh, also going to hit up any iconography, so like his belt or any of the uh, chaos stars or symbols that are on him. And he's also got a couple of little detail areas, a uh, leg guard and a shoulder pad. We're going to go over those as well. This will help to create a nice shiny metallic when we go over it with a separate color later. Now we're going to use a little bit of snake bite leather. Uh, we're going to use a fine tip brush for this and go over all of the leather sections of the model, taking care not to have the paint bleed over onto other sections. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. Now we can use a little bit of Rattling Grime. Uh, I'm using this very, very sparingly. I'm trying to get as light of a layer as I can uh, on all of the weapon sections, but I'm not going to use it on the pauldron or the leg guard. This will create a nice kind of old weathered appearance for the weapons. Now using some wild wood, I'm going to touch up all of the hand grips for the weapons. Uh, this will give a nice wooden handled appearance. Then using some Blood Angels Red, I'm going to paint over the uh, belt buckle and the Chaos Star. And that silver really makes the red shine. 
Now using some Skeleton Horde, I'm going to paint over the uh, kind of like crow or bird mask, giving it the appearance that they found a large bird and are using its skull as a helmet. Now using some bronze from the Artist Loft series, I'm going to go over the shoulder pad as well as the uh, leg guard, and I'm going to do roughly one and a half to two coats as needed to kind of give it a really sharp bronze look. Then using a stiff bristled fine tip brush, I'm going to very carefully highlight all of the raised sections on the belt buckle. Now using the same brush and some copper, I'm going to edge highlight the pauldrons and the leg guard. And one of the weapons has a uh, kind of metallic section where it's dangling the chaos star off. I'm going to hit that up with the copper as well, just for a little bit of extra detail. Now using the silver, I'm going to do a light dry brushing over the weapons just to give it a kind of metallic edge. Uh, as this moves around on the table, you'll be able to see it shimmer between the silver and the grimy rattling uh, color. Now I'm going to add some uh, basing material. I'm using some wood glue to kind of uh, coat the entirety of the base and then we will coat it with some uh, kind of heavy grit sand. Now I got this at Michael's, you can also find it at the dollar store. It works really well for quick basing media. So now using some Artist Loft parchment, I'm doing a quick and simple dry brush of the uh, stone pillar, and this is going to give it a nice, stony, uh, worn-in appearance. Now using a little bit of titanium white, I'm going to do a fairly like light to medium dry brush of all the feathers. This is going to pick out all of the details that have previously been covered up and really bring the feathers to life. Now using some Agros Dunes, I'm going to coat the entire base. This will give it a nice kind of uh, sandy, heavy gravel appearance. Uh, you can also do this with gray if you want. Using some Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to go over the stony outcropping, uh, but not the rest of the base. Next, I'll use a little bit of Blood for the Blood God to add a kind of messy blood patch on the front of the model. This will give it a nice kind of almost cannibalistic appearance. And here we are with the finished team. Uh, these were a very interesting set to paint and I like how they came out. They look really good as a full team and I can't wait to use them in a Warcry game. Alright everyone, so this has been the first video of the year. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section, hit that bell icon to be notified every time we upload, and we will see everyone next episode.